In today's video, we're gonna talk about the latest release of Cartoon Animator by Reillusion, formerly known as Crazy Talk. I remember back in the day trying to animate any face I find online, in addition to my family, friends, and so on. But since then, Crazy Talk has now come a long way in becoming Cartoon Animator. We actually did a review on Cartoon Animator 4 back in June if you wanna check that out. Also, Reillusion held the 2022 Cartoon Animator Animation at Work contest, which lasted two months with the participation of amazing artists from all over the world, with more than 169 submissions that spanned over so many fields like commercials, art, education, vlogs, and so on. All the animations were stunning, really showcasing the potential of Cartoon Animator, and the good news is that Reillusion announced that Crazy Talk Animator 5 is coming soon. In today's video, I will take a look at some of the new exciting features it will introduce once it hits the shelves. Cartoon Animator is a 2D animation software developed by Reillusion, the sponsor of today's video. It tries to cater to both beginners and professionals, and this upcoming installment of the software is no different. This version is promising a lot, a lot of powerful tools and features that will enable you to bring your vision to life whether you are a professional or just a hobbyist. This time around, Cartoon Animator 5 is gonna focus more on animation productions and enhancing what Cartoon Animator is and elevating its unique techniques. Now, it is easier than ever to create secondary animations, automatically adding squats and stress to deform your assets easily, in addition to a new vector graphics support for unlimited zoom and resolution, in addition to other stuff of course. So, let's run over some of the features and see what the fuss is all about. A common problem in rigged animations is stiffness. In real life, any movement is accompanied by a lot of other subtle movements, but in computer graphics, there is only so much you can animate by hand. Cartoon Animator's way to remedy this problem is the ability to create those small movements automatically. Now with Cartoon Animator 5, you can apply spring dynamics on any character or prop, allowing you to easily add life to any animation. Whether it is motion data, live mocap, or face puppet, you can easily take advantage of the natural flowing effects, especially for hair and accessories. You can add some bones to different spring groups, and you can easily see secondary animations based on the character's movement. In addition to that, you can add spring presets to props and characters, but you can also have the controls to fine-tune parameters like speed, gravity, and angle constraints for loose or tidal flow through behavior. Also, squash and stretch are one of the most fundamental and most important principles of animation and this is important because exaggerating the movement not only creates more readable motion, but it also gets rid of the stiffness and adds more life to your characters. Freeform deformation or FFD in short is a tool that allows you to overlay more exaggeration and distortion effects to your animations. Now, you have an FFD editor next to the timeline. You can easily drop a lattice object on top of your bone animation, either by applying one of the many presets it provides, or you can animate and tweak the effect manually to your heart's content. And the powerful thing about FFDs is that you can layer multiple instances of them on top of each other and apply them for motions. You can mix different motions with the same animated FFD, or apply different FFDs to the same motion which allows for infinite possibilities. One important thing to know is that CDA5 now supports vector graphics, because now you can import SVG vector assets, no matter where you get them from on the web, or even if they are custom made by any other vector software such as Illustrator, Coral Draw, Infinity Designer, Inkscape, and so on. This enables you to create massively scalable scenes where you can zoom in and out without compromising or worrying about quality. Unlike raster pixel based images, Vector looks great in micro or macro view with minimal memory demand and you can even adjust the quality in the viewport from the setting window for smoother workflow but the rendered result will always be at maximum resolution. Now talking about color adjustments, color adjustment in composer mode allows you to assign different colors and opacity to different vector groups. This allows you to easily define coloring units and opacity settings letting you further create various iterations and looks of the same character in a few clicks. It also allows you to change the color by hue, saturation, brightness, and contrast. And you can use the opacity settings to show and hide different articles of clothing as an example of variation. These were some of the highlights of the new CTI 5. A more detailed video will be released hopefully once the software is officially released. 
You can also join the CTI5 pre-sale campaign, it will end on the 31st of October. If you are interested in Cardinal Animator 5, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.